So you just had a colonoscopy. Congratulations. And the doctor told you that you have diverticulosis. And you're thinking, what does this mean? Yep. Is it dangerous? Mm -hmm. What can I do about it? And yes. why is this called a Johnny? Uh, no. Okay, so diverticulosis refers to small pockets or outpouchings that can occur in your colon. This condition becomes more common as we get older, with close to half of adults in the U.S. developing it by their 50s. It is most common here in the sigmoid colon, and is thought to develop from increased pressure in the colon pushing out on the wall of the bowel. So what does this mean? Well, for most people, it's not a big deal. It's kind of like getting gray hair. Yeah, but you don't have any hair. That's a valid point. But you get the idea. There's nothing to worry about. And it doesn't matter how many of these pockets there are or what size they are. Now, it is true that if they get infected, they cause what's called diverticulitis. But know that this probably occurs in less than 5% of people with diverticulosis. So not common. So what should I do if I have diverticulosis? Well, regular exercise and eating a diet high in fiber is always a good start. It's recommended that we eat 25 to 35 grams of fiber every day. That can be a lot for many of us. So if you have trouble getting that much in your diet, it's not a bad idea to take a fiber supplement. This can help you reach your goal. I heard somewhere that people should avoid eating seeds and nuts. Ah, yes. That is actually outdated advice. It was once believed that seeds and nuts could get stuck in these pockets and cause problems. This is no longer believed to be an issue. And in fact, seeds and nuts are a great source of fiber. So if you enjoy eating these, by all means, keep eating them. So diverticulosis, not a big deal? No, not a big deal. So remember, eat your fiber, get your colonoscopies as recommended by your healthcare provider, and don't forget to thank the nurses and staff. We, we can't, can't do any, any of this without, without them. them. And congratulations on completing your colonoscopy. Thank <laughs> you.